Hey Scratchers, Mr. I again. Welcome back for part two of how to set up your game like a boss. And if you did part one, you know that we've already got all of this done. We have set up a broadcast called Setup. And we've told everybody where to hide, what, what background we want, etc. So today we're going to talk about how to set up your timer and your lives. Okay? So basically, these are both variables, right? A variable is just a little box, a place where we store stuff that changes. And the time is going to change. The lives are going to change, OK? So we're going to call one timer, OK? When we do that, it'll set all this up. And you can also refer to my other video on how to set up a timer. So I'm not going to go into this in great detail, because there's a whole other bit on that. And we're going to do another one called Lives. And there's a whole other video called How to Lose Lives, which sounds kind of weird, but that's what it is. Okay, so we've got two of those, okay? Lives and Timer. So what the question is, what do we want to do? And you'll notice that it automatically puts these up here, okay? Which is the default. They, they want, to, want to show them. And I, I'm okay with that, okay? So the question is, what do we want to do when setup is broadcast, okay? So... Here's what we're going to do. We're going to say here, when I receive setup, now we're going to go to data, and we're going to set our lives to, let's say, I think we said 10, OK? And we're going to set timer to 20. So we change that to timer, 20, OK? So there we go. So that's going to automatically do that. Let's just check to make sure. We're going to click the green flag. Yes, timer is 20, lives is 10. That's good. Okay, so that's that's an important part of the setup. And remember, if you want to check on how to make these the timer go down and the lives go down and all that, check out those other videos because I think they do a pretty good job. Alrighty, so the other thing that we want to do, though, is we want to make a new sprite because all of this is kind of set up, but we want to get away get out from here to start the game, all right? So I'm going to make a new sprite, and I think we're just going to paint one. You can get one, you know, make a little ellipse kind of thing like this. Uh, I think we don't want it too big. So it's going to have to fit in there. So let's go like that, all right? And we'll make the background, I think, yellow. That might work, right? Okay, good. And we're going to put some text on there. Call it start. T A R T. Good, right? Bad. Terrible. Okay, let's make it. Yeah, make it black. And I think it's important that we have it actually on the button. So let's drag that down a little. And boom. Okay, it's done. Now, here it is right there. We can go to scripts. I also say let's rename this sprite, okay? Because it's called Sprite One which is profoundly unhelpful. So let's change it. You do that little thing, and we're going to call it start button. Then you don't have all these sprite one, sprite two, sprite et cetera, et cetera. And it gets annoying, OK? You can't find out what anything is after a while. OK, so now what do we want to do here? Do we want the start button to show when we're here? Yes, because if we don't, they're not going to be able to leave this screen and start the game. So we're going to put that there. All right, so when, again, set up, when I receive set up, we're telling this guy that we want you to show. The other guys, get out of there. But this guy, we want right there. All right? And, of course, he's going to be there, but let's just kind of, I'll just hide him for a second. Okay? And when we click the green flag, there, he's there. All right? So that's good. Now, in part three, I'm going to talk about what happens when you click the start button. But right now, everything is done. We've got our introduction screen with this showing up. We've got a timer set. We've got live set. We've got the start button there ready to be clicked. We have the beetle and the cheesy puffs conveniently off stage. And in the next vid, we're going to talk about what happens when you click start to start the game. Okay? All right. See you next time. Thanks.